So obviously with next gen, you've got a lot more sort of horsepower. There's more processing power. There's more memory. Um, so you know, we're using the power of the Ignite engine to um, really innovate gameplay and presentation in three key areas. We have what we call human intelligence. We have true player motion, and we have the living world. So what those mean are, uh, in human intelligence, we're now able to do. Uh, a level of sophistication in our physics system. So previously, the player impact engine, players would collide, it would look great, but we never had the ability uh, for the players to have that anticipation and awareness to to know what was kind of coming. So players can now sort of brace for impact. They can uh, avoid challenges that are coming in, and whereas previously maybe they would have got tripped over, which previously we have never been able to do reliably. So you're not so reliant now on using the tackle button. So you know the physical nature of the game feels very different, and it feels fantastic. And then we got what we call true player motion where uh, we've completely reworked all the movement within the game, the precision movement, how players move, shift weight, the feeling of their movement within the game and then on top of that we have what we call elite technique which is this um, just because of the sheer amount of more memory we have within the game we can put so many more animations in so there's hundreds of new animations around passing, shooting, heading and it's not just variety we've now got you know passes that through ball passes, chip passes, you can now do a chest passes but also in terms of coverage you can now you know take the ball and turn fluidly in 180 degrees which previously didn't have that kind of coverage same kind of coverage for angles and shooting as well and, and heading and then also we're able to within our in-air play we're able to get multiple players up in the air so previously you only ever have two again another limitation from the old old machines and then finally we have what we call the living world so this is bringing the game to life this is our presentation this is the brand new 3d crowd that makes a huge difference to the feeling of the game brand new gameplay camera that brings the crowd into the play um, it's completely rewriting all our presentation system which is what we've done with our new in-game director um, in the fact that we've got brand new camera angles authentic broadcast camera angles for every replay we've got hundreds of, over 100 cameras filming the action so we can add replays of skill moves replays of tackles great tackle to really tell the story of the game, no more scripted NIS, it's all AI driven. Uh, and then finally we've got the match flow where we never take you out of the play, it's continuous. If you want to see a player go into the corner, get a you know, um, goalkeeper putting the ball down. Um, it's you know, really taking gameplay and presentation to a level we've never been able to do. Yeah, I mean there's a lot of situations in the fact that you know, ultimately, it's kind of like um, you know, players will now brace for an impact if they're about to collide. It will be if uh, you know a player comes in, slide tackles. Previously in the game, if that uh, contact was made with the leg, they might go down and, and stumble or fall over. Now they can ride that challenge, keeping the flow of the move going. And then, you know, as I said earlier, the big one for me is that interaction between two players. I can now seal my out, use my body to win back possession of the ball and not have to rely on the tackle button. I mean, obviously, we were looking at any feedback that we've got from FIFA 14, and we were looking at, you know, what what people are saying, any feedback, and you know, we'd look to make any changes if necessary. Um, you know, w within the game. So Legends is obviously a great new addition just for the Xbox, because it's exclusive to Xbox. Um, you know, we've got 42 Legends in there. Um, you know, some great names from the past, including Pele. Um, we've got uh, Lota Mateus. Um, you know, lo lots of stars we, um, from, from the past in there. All 42 players will be available to you. Um, you know, and, and then there'll be rare items, so there'll be like the sort of classic rare items within FUT, and we'll be doing promotions each week with different legends. Um, I mean, ultimately, I think when you play the game, and a lot of comments we've had is just how fluid the game feels. It feels very natural. It's, you know, that I think. I also think the gameplay camera makes quite a big difference in the way that the game feels a lot more grounded. So, you know, it's it's using again the horsepower of the machines. You know, we're running the game at 1080p, which makes it look very sharp, and at 60 frames a second. So, you know, it makes that feeling of fluidity very, you know, very solid within the game.
uh, in human intelligence, we're now able to do uh, a level of sophistication in our physics system. So previously, the player impact engine, players would collide, it would look great. But we never had the ability uh, for the players to have that anticipation and awareness to, to know what's kind of coming. So players can now sort of brace for impact. They can uh, avoid challenges that are coming in, and whereas previously maybe they would have got tripped over. And what really for me is the game changer is the fact that those physical player one-on-one -on -one interactions between players now feel very, very different. I can now use body position to seal out um, the, 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 my opponent from the ball, which previously we have never been able to do reliably. So you're not so reliant now on using the tackle button. So you know the physical nature of the game feels very different, and it feels fantastic. And then we've got what we call true player motion, where uh, we've completely reworked all the movement within the game, and the precision movement, how players move, shift weight, the feeling of their movement within the game, and then. On top of that, we have what we call elite technique, which is this, um, just because of the sheer amount of more memory we have within the game, we can put so many more animations in. So there's hundreds of new animations around passing, shooting, heading, and it's not just variety. We've now got, you know, passes, that through ball passes, chip passes. You can now do chess passes. But also in terms of coverage, you can now, you know, take the ball and turn fluidly in 180 degrees, which previously didn't have that kind of coverage. Same kind of coverage for angles in shooting as well and, and heading. And then also we're able to, within our in-air play, we're able to get multiple players up in the air. So previously we only ever had two, again, another limitation from the old, old machines. And then finally we have what we call the living world. So this is bringing the game to life. This is our presentation. This is the brand new 3D crowd that makes a huge difference to the feeling of the game. Brand new gameplay camera that brings the crowd into the play. Um, it's completely rewriting all our presentation system, which is what we've done with our new in-game director um, in the fact that We've got brand new camera angles, authentic broadcast camera angles for every replay. Got hundreds of, over 100 cameras filming the action so we can now do replays of skill moves, replays of tackles, great tackle. To really tell the story of the game, no more scripted NIS, it's all AI driven. Uh, and then finally we've got the match flow where we never take you out of the play, it's continuous. If you want to see a player go into the corner, get a you know, um, goalkeeper putting the ball down. Um, is you know really taking gameplay and presentation to a level we've never been able to do in FIFA before. Mm -hmm. um, the, can you explain any situation for uh, show us, a particular situation for show us, uh, how is the new human intelligence? Yeah, I mean there's a lot of situations in the fact that you know ultimately it's kind of like um, you know players will now brace for an impact if they're about to collide. It will be if uh, you know a player comes in slide tackles. Previously in the game, if that uh, contact was made with the leg, they might go down and, and stumble or fall over. Now they can ride that challenge, keeping the flow of the move going. And then, you know, as I said earlier, the big one for me is that interaction between two players. I can now seal my out, use my body to win back possession of the ball and not have to rely on the tackle button. Mm -hmm. uh, are there any mistake uh, in FIFA 14 uh, for 360 and PS3 uh, that you wish uh, to improve in this next gen version? I mean obviously we're looking at any feedback that we've got from FIFA 14 and when we're looking at you know what what people are saying any feedback and you know we'd look to make any changes if necessary um, you know w within the game. Mm -hmm. What names uh, can we find in Ultimate Team? Ultimate Team Legends. Yeah, so Legends is obviously a great new addition just for the Xbox because it's exclusive to Xbox. Um, you know, we've got 42 Legends in there. Um, you know, some great names from the past, including Pele. Um, we've got uh, Lota Mateus. Um, you know, lo lots of stars we, um, from, from the past in there. All 42 players will be available to you. Um, you know, and, and then there'll be rare items, so there'll be like the sort of classic rare items within FUT. And we'll be doing promotions each week with different legends. Mm -hmm. How about this? In, in, in Spanish players, this is Figo, Romario? Right? Yeah, I, need to, I haven't got the full list. <laughs> Has anyone got the list? Okay, yeah. don't worry. I need to get the list, sorry. I, I don't want to name wrong players, I do apologize. <laughs> don't worry. Uh, do you have plans uh, for expand uh, these legends? To expand it? Right now, as I say, we've announced it's 42 players. It's exclusive to Xbox, and that's um, you know that's where we are right now. Mm -hmm. How do you improve uh, the flow between actions and animations um, with the, in Night Engine? 
Um, I mean, ultimately, I think when you play the game, and a lot of comments we've had is just how fluid the game feels. It feels very natural. It's, you know, that I think I also think the gameplay camera makes quite a big difference in the way that the game feels a lot more grounded. So, you know, it's it's using again the horsepower of the machines. You know, we're running the game at 1080p, which makes it look very sharp, and at 60 frames a second. So, you know, it makes that feeling of fluidity very, you know, very solid within the game. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that, uh, that's all. Thank all right, cool. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah.